explorers, happy Dr. Seuss's birthday. Dr. Seuss wrote books like Green Eggs and Ham, The Lorax, and Horton Hears a Who. So to celebrate, we're doing a big rhyming challenge with our favorite things. Mine's a telescope. Oh, Ooh. yummy. Oh. Hey, explorers, are you guys excited for today's big rhyming challenge? I am. I wrote a poem about my favorite toy, my boat. Can we hear some of your poem, Hayden? Sure. Out of all my toys, there's one I won't trade in. My awesome toy boat. It's called the SS Hayden. Oh, very cool. Hey, Claudia, can you say some of your poem? <clears throat> I love tea time. We're playing games at our zany with my best friend in the whole wide world, Rainy. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very nice, Cloudy. Here's a line from mine. Looking up at the stars, it's impossible to mope. That's one of the reasons why I love my telescope. Oh, I almost forgot. Ayush, can we hear some of your poem? Well, my favorite toy is my purple wolf. And we love to go on jungle adventures and exploring together. But, um, I wasn't able to write a poem. Oh no! Were you sick? Were you sick? How long have you been sick? You should rest if you're sick. I'm not sick, but when I tried to write a poem, I couldn't think of any rhymes. Oh, that's no problem, Ayush. We can help you write a poem about your purple wolf, right? How about this? Ayush and his awesome purple wolf, they like to, um, I don't think anything rhymes with wolf. Ooh, let me try. <clears throat> Ayush and his awesome wolf, who is purple, both uh, do stuff. Uh, nothing rhymes with purple either. Uh, let me try. Uh, there once was a purple wolf who belonged to Ayush, and they went on adventures. Uh oh. Yeah, nothing rhymes with purple, wolf, or Ayush. I guess that means I can't be in the rhyming challenge. No way, we're not leaving you out of fun, Ayush. Hayden's right, it's no fun if everyone can't be a part of it. I'm sure if we thought about it, we could think of something. Let's think. What if we change Ayusha's name to Cloudy and the Purple Wolf's name to Rainy and then he can borrow my poem? Boom! Fixed! That's very nice, Cloudy, but I think we should come up with a solution that allows Ayush to keep his name. Maybe something in the Dr. Seuss books could inspire us. Of course! Dr. Seuss's books have all sorts of made up things, right? Made up places and animals and everything! And we can use our imagination to make up all new places, names, and creatures and make up new words that rhyme with purple, wolf, and a yush! That sounds fun! Absolutely! Let's go to the hair! <laughs> 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 Okay gang, we're all ready to get started on a brand new poem. One that has all of us and our favorite things. <sighs> so what should our story be about? Ayu said that he and his wolf love to go exploring. That sounds like a fun story. Sure, maybe we could go on a jungle adventure and search for some kind of wild animal. Perfect, let's get started. <sighs> In a faraway land that explorers explore was the sand purple jungle no one ever explored before. The Sankirple jungle, exciting and a little scary, full of animals that are scaly or slimy or hairy. That was the destination of an explorer named Ayush to search the Sankirple jungle for the uh, uh, mysterious Gagoosh, the never before seen white horned Gagoosh. Explorers at home, how does that sound? A jungle and a Gagoosh that's never been found? What do you think when you think of this creature? Can you imagine a gagoosh with a white horn as a feature? But Ayush was not alone on his gagoosh fighting mission. Hayden, Marmar, and Cloudy joined him on this expedition. They sailed on Hayden's boat, which is her favorite toy, you know. And they used Marmar's telescope to figure out just where to go. And in addition to this crew who were all brave and brainy, Cloudy brought her bestest, friendliest, best friend, Rainy. 
and there was one more friend sailing with them to Sand Purple. A wolf friend of Ayush's who happened to be purple. When the whole gang arrived at the jungle of Sand Purple, they followed the lead of that wolf that was purple. And that purple wolf, who was best friends with Ayush, quickly sniffed out the smell of that elusive gagoosh. The smell of the pink-tailed, white-horned gagoosh. Just then, they heard the bustling and rustling of something rowdy. I think it's coming from over there, Rainy said to Cloudy. And they followed the rowdy sounds that they all were hearing to find the gagoosh in a very nearby clearing. The three-eyed, pink-tailed, white-horned gagoosh they all had been fearing. Should they run? Should they fight? Oh, what should they do? Just then, Gagoosh waved and said, Hey, y'all, what's new? The Gagoosh wasn't angry, wasn't scary, wasn't mean. I guess even never-before-seen things can be more than they seem. Y'all, the white horn on my front and the pink tail on my end don't mean that I wouldn't like to be all of y'all's friend. The explorers agreed and made friends real fast with the Gagoosh, who was happy to be discovered at last. And with their new friend, they explored more of San Kerpo and played with the boat and the telescope, Rainy and the wolf, who was purple. Which proves you can include anyone if you just take the time, even a gagoosh or a purple wolf or friends whose names don't rhyme. And the end. Ah, what an excellent story, explorers. We had rhymes, we had adventure, and most importantly, we had all of our favorite things in it. So that means... We did it! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for all your creative and imaginative help, Explorers. You made Dr. Seuss's birthday an excellent celebration. And thanks, everyone, for making it something that I can celebrate, too. Of course, it wouldn't have been nearly as much fun if you weren't a part of it, Ayush. Bye, everyone! Bye, Cloudy! And bye, Rainy, too! Bye, Hayden, Ayush, Purple Wolf, and Boat! And of course, thank you, too. So today, dear explorers, we had a big fun activity planned, our big fun rhyming challenge all set up in Marmarland. So we all got creative and inventive, and thus, we figured out an adventure that included all of us. There's no way, no how we could have done it alone. So thank you for your help, dear explorers at home. Bye, explorers. You want to make the world a better place? Share a smile, illuminate. Hesitate to pour peace and love into every